So I've been ranting and raving about the cloud and ML and data science because there are just so many cool things that make our lives easier that exist now that previously didn't exist or the incremental benefits have gotten really tremendous. Here's a really quick example. So let's pretend, you know, I've got my, my ML project. It's not pretend, but it's, it's basically pretend. And I've got a little Flask app that right now isn't doing anything other than logging. But hey, it's a Flask app. It's running. And you can even see it running. I have it running locally over here with a typo in it. How wonderful. Now let's deploy this thing. And in the past, we wanted to deploy this application. And by the past, I mean, even, a, you know, maybe let's say five or 10 years ago, I might go to AWS and I'm going to do it in the cloud. I might go to AWS at the infrastructure layer, get an EC2 instance, move my code over, install system dependencies, install my runtime, blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe five years ago, I would do this directly with something like Docker. Here's a, an example with a platform as a service layer maybe quasi function as a service layer in AWS. And their example is called App Runner. I, all the other clouds have, have similar things. So here's how we're gonna go from local application to hosted application. Look, it has TLS. We are, I didn't have to set up a DNS entry or get TLS certs or figure out anything related to networking. All this is available and I, I stepped through it here. Sorry, so I know I'm excited because not that I wanna shill for these guys, but it, this is just so easy to set up. So I'm in App Runner and I could see something like, hey, I wanna create a service. I could either point to my, if I'm using Docker, which is often a very, quite normally a good idea, I could point to a, an image registry. In my case, I just pointed directly to a source code repository. So I went through and said like, hey, I've got this repo here. Here's my amazing project, right? And here's my little Flask app. It's just sitting right here in GitHub. I can point to this directly. So I can tell it like, hey, please use this project, use this branch. And then I'll step through and pick the Python runtime. I will say install my requirements TXT and that's part of my build script. So that works. My start command can be as simple as just running, I, you know, the name of my, not small dot app, but small dot pi. And when I click next and, and it takes five minutes or so to build, I end up with this actual application. Um, on its own, like we're probably not, you're probably not in a position, especially as an employee to just deploy things publicly and not care about who actually has access to this and what information is being shared. But from a CICD perspective, within the confines of what your team has set up, this is very useful. And my future examples, I'll use this and other cloud examples to show how as part of our pipeline, we can automate the process of committing changes into version control and having it automatically build a deployment. Very, very interesting, very, very useful. And so this is also not to say that going the EC2 route or just going the ECS route or something where you're like, my interface is Docker, my interface is a VM, all those are remain valid and fine. I just, just the first time I've used App Runner, I didn't realize how easy it was to use and whatever, I'm sure how easy it is to use in other clouds where I'm literally just pointing at my GitHub repository and going forth.